Violent Agenda. <laughs> Battling the forces of evil. The School of Life. Assalamu alaikum. Life is not easy guys. It's full of pain and failure. But who said that's a bad thing? Who said that failure marks the end? In fact, the wise say that failure marks the beginning. Now here are five famous failures that failed at one point of their life and carried on and became great. Failure number one, Thomas Edison. Now we all know he's the famous dude that invented the light bulb, but very few of us know that he was actually dyslexic, which means he had a learning disability. In his early years, his teachers told him he was too stupid to learn anything. <laughs> that, that is quite bad actually. Which teacher would say that? Thomas Edison's teacher. He got fired from his first two jobs for not being productive enough. He tried more than a thousand different experiments until he finally made the first successful light bulb. Imagine if he gave up, we'd be sitting in a dark room with a little lantern in the corner. Failure number two is JK Rowling. Now she's most famous for making the famous Harry Potter series. But little do we know, there was a point in her life where she was broke, depressed, divorced and was raising a kid on benefits. That's when she was writing the Harry Potter series. If that's not bad enough, she went to 12 different publishers and they all said no. Did she give up? Nah. <laughs> Of course she didn't. She finally got a publisher, published it and became the first billionaire author. And now Harry Potter is worth about 15 billion dollars. That's mental. In a good way. We move on to our third famous failure. Albert Einstein, who was the pioneer of the theory of general relativity. Many people don't even know he was dyslexic. The guy couldn't even speak fluently until the age of nine. And it wasn't until the age of 25 that he got into physics seriously. Before that, he used to work in a patent office. Failure number four, Michael Jordan. Some people regard him as the best basketball player of all time, but they failed to realize that in high school, he wasn't even accepted in the basketball team. In his own words, he says, I've missed 9,000 shots. I've lost almost 300 games and 26 different times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot. And I've missed. I failed over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. Now a fifth and final famous failure, Walt Disney. And we're all aware of his famous Disney cartoons, which make billions in movies, merchandise and theme parks. Now Walt Disney was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. How ironic is that? <laughs> so what's the conclusion, you beautiful, beautiful people? Yes, failure is not nice. But it's necessary. You will have to pass failure on the path to success. Sounds cheesy, but think about it. In order to get to success, you have to fail. Someone who says I've never failed has never tried anything new. Now why is failure? It's not just falling over. Failure is when you fall over and you refuse to get back up. That's failure. So coming out of this failure, stronger and more determined is the key to success. Sounds hard, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is hard. Sorry guys, I'm just going to be real. It's hard. If it was easy, everyone would do it. That's why success is only for those who go the distance. So the next time you guys fail, just realize it's only the beginning. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.